people, they affect a, a large number of people today. The problem many people face today would have to do with the spirit that comes from the marine kingdom. I will tell you something tonight. Most of the problem people are going through today, it comes from the marine kingdom. This spirit, they can allow you to start your Christian journey. They can permit you to start your Christian race. But I want to assure you that the, this spirit will, will torment people, afflict people, oppress people, and keep them in stagnancy. What are their activities? Number one, the cause late marriage. Sometimes this marine spirit, the cause late marriage. This is a sister, she's not 35. Nobody have approached her. This uh, brother is going to 42, 43. He, she, he, the brother has not yet prayed through and see the will of God for, for his sister to get married to. And they also, you know, they work with the water. You see, some people in life, they always find themselves in, 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 in the sea and they have children under the water. That's a sign. And such people need to be liberated from such demonic and satanic spirit. Number two, they cause poverty, poverty in marriage. They can allow a man to get married, and then they will attack that marriage. They also call they cause hatred between couples. That is one of the assignments. Those are one of the assignments of the marine spirit. The cause hatred among couples, husband and wife, got him married. All of a sudden, the wife, the husband will be nice to people outside. The husband will be friendly to people outside. But when the bone of a bone come around, the man will change his countenance. The man will not be happy again. There is a forces, there is a spirit behind it. That is the activity of marine spirits. They cause hatred among couples. It may be the wife. It just hates the husband without, without any reason. Without any reason, that hatred will spark off from the heart of the man and then and all that. Not, not only that, they cause constant loss and also untold achieve. They also cause loss of wealth. I remember some years ago, a lady, she's from the Marine Kingdom. She was, she was the, when the mother conceived her, this lady, because when we pray for her, it was later she was telling us that she manipulated, she was on the tree when he saw the mother and now transfer herself to the womb of a mother and a mother give birth to that, uh, to, to, to the, that family. But then, when the Every time the father uh, have a contract, this child will fall sick until the parents uh, waste and use all the money for treatment. When there is no money again, the child will got well. She'll be okay. And then after some time again, the same child again, we, we, we also fall, we also fall, fall sick again. The father, after the father gathers some money again, after some time, they spend and spend and spend. When there is no money in the house again, that is where the child will, will recover. Those are the activities of marine spirit. Until we pray for that girl, we pray for her. She felt she was, she was, she was, her uh, 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 spiritual name was Uzo in the spiritual realm. And when we got to pray for her, that is where the that is where the husband appear. And the guy said the husband is here, the husband says the husband is here. But we bombard them with prayer, fire of the Holy Ghost arrested, arrested her, and the Lord deliver her. They cause obviously number two, they cause demonic sicknesses, constant failure, fear, loss of health. In fact, sometimes I swear they cause disagreements without a cause. Disagreement. Here is two brothers, and here is sisters, and here is a family. Don't see disagreement without any reason. These are the activities of marine spirit. And these are the, they also cause divorce. They, they put a thought of divorce upon the heart of one of the spouse. 
Because the minute I tell you, there is, there is what you call spirit wife and spirit husband. And these are the spirit attached are being responsible of divorce. You see a lady sometimes, if you sleep like this, you will see a man coming to mess her up. Every time this man will appear in a dream and the man will be messing this lady up or you're a man. A lady always come to meet you, your dream always mess you up. And when you wake up in the day, that, that day, that week, you will discover things, your life will not be gathered. That is the activity of marine spirits. They cause barrenness. They cause disappointment. They cause sudden death. And tonight, the Lord God Almighty will cross them away from your life and the Lord will give everyone victory in Jesus' name. Amen. I say the Lord will give everyone victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because these this forces, this forces of darkness and these marine spirits, they work with the water, water spirits. And they have, they, are, they have the queen of the coast ahead of them. A man saw a lady in the club. He picked the lady. He messed up with the lady. When he finished messing up with the lady, he now dropped the lady at about uh, near the lady's house. And the man went his way. But the man promised the lady that she is going to come and visit him the next day. The man went to that. The man went to that. The very, the very apartment. He dropped the lady. He was asking for the lady, and they said, "What are you talking about? The person you are asking, yeah, yeah, the person has died since three years ago." They said, "Come and see where we bury the person." And the man said, "He dropped the lady here yesterday." They said, "He can't. He can't. He's not living here. The person you make mention of, of her name, he, 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 he's a dead person. Look, look at where we bury her here." The man said, what? So, so it was a, it was a, a, a marine agent. He carried from the club. He, before he, he wrote for deliverance or prayer, we should pray for him. And until we began to pray and began to pray, began to pray, the Lord showed that man mercy and he delivered the man. Marine spirit fight against marriage. Wow. They fight against people's, people's wealth. They don't want anything good to come out of your life, of your family. When they see couples be united together, they are not happy. Their mission is to go and to destroy. That is why you must stop their activity before they stop you. You must stop their evil manipulation of darkness before they stop you. I pity some people. They said uh, all this, all this uh, uh, spirit. Uh, with, I don't have time. They are prayers. Oh God, give me grace. Oh God, give me grace. Oh God, uphold me. My brother, we have a uh, defensive weapon. We have of offensive weapon. If you are using a defensive weapon in warfare, hey. A time we call way that a time we call way that we push you out of the battle, and if you if you are not ready to for war, they are ready for war. The Bible say, "He that that in pieces have come up." But if you are munition, keep you are it's a very strong because if you are not ready to fight, they are ready to fight you, and that is why. You must awake and you must gather up your strength to go to the battle to overcome the battle. They have caused a lot of damage in people's life. They have caused a lot of damages in people's family. They have caused a lot of damages in people's uh, activity. And I want to tell you, my brother, even though you are born again, if you did not pray yourself out of all these activities that have been mentioned of, you don't you just discover that they will make life very difficult for you. But I decree all their manipulation and all their plots, the Lord will turn down upon them. They will not prevail over your life in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. Some years ago, we are, we are, I was talking like this, and I was uh, needing prayer for a night vigil. A brother there is a choir, a brother there. The brother, he stopped us. He said, 
He said, we should wait, we should wait. He said, this type of prayer we are praying every time, every night we come for prayer. Uh -uh. He said, in fact, I will not forget that day. He said, why are we disturbing Satan? That is what he, that is what he said. He said, why are we disturbing him? <laughs> Do you know what? That brother, the enemy shot arrow at him because he was so ignorant. He was so he was not using defensive weapon. He was not using of offensive weapon just to guide, just to block, just to guide. Blood of Jesus, God protect me, God deliver me. And he's not attacking. You need offensive weapon to attack, to rush at war against against the camp of the enemy, to overthrow them and and, and, and to bombard their kingdom and to take what belongs to you. Just protecting yourself, holiness in my life, blood of Jesus, and all that, my brother. Arise, because if you are, if you, if you are not, if you are not fighting and contending and going to in, in, into battle, hey, they may even run you out of town. They may even run you out of your marriage. They may even run you out of your finances. They may even run you out of. They will bring some challenges before you. And that is why you must pray. They may even throw arrow of sickness and program high blood pressure and program tuberculosis and program all this is upon of people. I pray tonight, all the agenda in your life, the Lord will overthrow them in Jesus' name. Amen. You are there is no time. There is no time. I want you to, to begin to praise the Lord now. Open your mouth, begin to worship the Lord, begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give God the glory, give God the glory, thank Him, bless Him for the gift of life. Give God the glory, bless Him for another opportunity. Give God the glory, worship the Lord, exalt His name, magnify the name of the Lord, for the Lord is good. And, that's it, and the Lord is great. And the Lord is mighty. There is no one we can compare with Him. Is the ancients of days. Give Him the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible says, "He that thus said in pieces is come up before Thy face. Keep Thy admonition. Wash Thy way. Make Thy Lord strong. Fortify Thy power mightily." He that that in pieces have cover. The devil doesn't want to hear, I'm sorry, I don't want to fight. He has come up to fight you. He that that in pieces is come up before thy face. The Bible says, keep thy admonition, wash thy way, make thy law strong, fortify thy power mightily. Gather strength, gather strength, gather strength. You are going to pray tonight. Oh God, strengthen me for this battle tonight. Oh God, strengthen me for this battle tonight. The Bible says, fortify thy power mightily. Call upon the Lord that God will strengthen you for the battle ahead of you. Call upon the Lord. The Lord will strengthen your inner mind. Call upon the Lord. And now the Lord will fortify your power. Call upon the Lord. The power of the Holy Ghost to work upon your life that, they, that they, the strength of God Almighty will flow into your system. Why can't you pray? I want to hear you pray. You are the Almighty God. I pray the power of God. I want to hear you pray. This is not a quiet time for you to meditate. This is a prayer season, a prayer time. The Lord will strengthen you. 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 Ask the Lord to strengthen you tonight. As we launch into the battle tonight. Ask the Lord to, to strengthen you tonight. Uh -huh. We saw in the name of Jesus. Tonight is our night of vibration. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says, I'm going to take the prayer request from the book of Psalm. I'm going to uh, Psalm 27. I'm going to take my prayer request from the book of Psalm 27. The Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is a strength of my life. Of who shall I be afraid? You are going to pray every spirit of fear in your life. God should take it away. Every spirit of timidity in your life, God will take it away. You are going to pray, oh God, give me boldness. 
Oh God, give me boldness. Why can't you pray and call upon the Lord? God will take away fear away from you. Every spirit of fear and timidity, God will remove it out of your heart. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Oh God, every spirit of fear, take it away. Eradicate it out of my life. The Lord is the light of my life. Is the strength of my life. Is the light and strength. Why can't you ask the Lord to be to, to, that, that the light of God to shine upon your life? And every spirit of fear, God will remove the spirit of fear out of your heart, out of your life. You shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid. Call upon the Lord. Every time you are you are afraid of your children, you are afraid of your husband, you are afraid of your wife, you are afraid of everybody. We're going to pray tonight that God will take the spirit of fear away from your life. Pray and call upon the Lord that God will take the spirit of fear away from your life. Pray and call upon the Lord, oh God, every spirit of fear, oh God, take it away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You are going to pray that your enemy will begin to make mistake. That your enemies will begin to make mistake. In verse 2, Psalm 27, verse 2, the Bible says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, the stumble and the fail. The stumble and the fall. Hey, that is a mistake there. They, they stumble. They make a mistake. You are, oh God, all those who are accusing me one way or the other in my place of work, in my family, wherever, let my enemies begin to make mistakes. Call upon the Lord. Let my enemies begin to make mistakes. The Bible says, even my enemies, even the wicked, and my enemies came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble. Hey, they make a mistake. They stumble. They make a mistake. They fall. They make a mistake. Your enemies will be able to make mistake. Your enemies will be able to fall. Your enemies will be able to make mistake. Wherever they want to accuse you, they will make a mistake. Wherever they are, they attempt, they try to report you to your boss. They try to report you to your accuser. They will make a mistake. Call upon the law. Catch for you tonight, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Call upon the Lord. That your enemies will begin to make mistakes. All their agenda, their plan against you, they will make a mistake in your place of work. And they, they are hiring you and they are planning against you. They will use their head to make mistakes. They will fall down. They will, they will be exposed. Let my enemies begin to make mistake, oh God, wherever they are. Wherever they are, the marine, the, 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 the queen of the false agents, the agent of darkness and sin against my life, let them begin to make mistake. The agent of darkness and sin against my marriage, let them begin to make mistake. My enemies will begin to make mistake. When my enemy, the wicked, came up to eat up my flesh, the Bible said there's trouble and the fair. There's trouble and the fall. My brother, why can't you pray? I pity people with that and when they are not praying them like this, you don't know the day of your visitation. You cannot tell the day of your visitation. My sister, you do not know the day of your visitation. Let your enemies begin to make mistakes. In the day, they will make mistakes. In the night, they will make mistakes. If they try to raise up an allegation against you, they will make mistakes. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible said, Do and us. Us shall encamp against me, 
my heart shall not fear though war shall rise up against me you see war they are they are they are ready for battle if you are say you are not fighting they are going to fight at you do a war shall rise up against me in peace will i be confident you are going to pray every battle has set against your life from the marine from the marine kingdom from the queen of the coast, from the edge of darkness, every part has sat against your marriage, has sat against your children, has sat against your family. Every part of the Lord will scatter the part. Holy Ghost, scatter the part for the Lord. Every war they have, they have, they have organized against you. Every spiritual war, marital war against your ministry, against you, the Lord will scatter them. All upon the Lord, God will scatter them. All upon the Lord, God will scatter them. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will scatter them. Pray, stop them before they stop you. Stop them before they stop you. The enemies is making trouble in your marriage, in your home. You think it's ordinary? It's not ordinary. The queen of the ghosts have been assigned against it. A chain of darkness is assigned against it. Why can't you overthrow their kingdom? Overthrow their palace, overthrow their coffin, overthrow their altar. Fire, cut fire in the name of Jesus. Any evil purpose that can get my life, get my ministry, get my family, get my children, what do I have to my God in Jesus? Please my life, God in Jesus. Jesus, we pray. Jesus, we pray. Jesus, we pray. Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible is Psalm 27, verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. My brother, the Bible talks there is there is a season and there is a time. Time to gather stone, time to cast a stone, time to weep, time to rejoice, time for marriage, and time for trouble. For in the time of trouble, you are going to pray that God will hide you. Mm. When the adventure of blood is looking for people to slay, when the adventure, uh, adventure of blood is pursuing innocent people, scattering family, scattering business, as doing a lot of evil, adventures of blood. You are going to pray in the time of trouble, oh God, you will hide me or your secret tabernacle. Yeah. Oh God, you will shoot me and hide me and my family. You will shoot me and hide me and my husband. You will shoot me and hide me with my children. Call upon the law. In a time of trouble, oh God, hide me. Hide me where the adventure of blood is looking for people to slay. Adventure of blood is looking for people marriages to scatter. Adventure of blood is looking for people to kill where they are when your Pursue after you. Oh God, hide me in the time of trouble. Call upon the Lord. God will hide you. He will hide you and protect you. God will hide you. In the time of trouble, the Lord will hide you. Call upon the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a time for trouble. There is a time. Easy for calamity. When that time comes, the Lord will preserve you and your house. In Jesus. Name we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Listen to me, this is very well. There are some couples that the devil attacked them in time of trouble, and then they fight, they slander each other, they go for that divorce. Because this marine spirit, this marine agent, they are full of jealousy. They are full of the spirit of jealousy possess possess them so much, and their main target is to scatter home. I'm telling you what is me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and you don't take this all prayer for levity. I am giving you a prayer that will sheet you and your family. You keep quiet. You are not praying. Mm -hmm. My brother, hey, 
Stop them before they stop you. There are some people, they have stopped their ministry. There are some people, this marine, they have stopped, they have stopped them spiritually. In fact, there are people stop some people physically. In fact, some of them, they are alive, but they are dead. They are taking their energy away from them. You are going to pray. Every program of the marine at the age of darkness in my house, in my family. Holy Ghost, scatter them. Holy Ghost, scatter them. Go oh, pull your mouth and pray. Every program they have injected and programmed into my family. Every program they are programmed into the life of my husband. Every program they are programmed into the, into the life of my wife. Holy Ghost, scatter them. Go oh, pull your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Holy Ghost, fire. Call to them in Jesus' name. Father, rise and fight for me and fight for my family. The Lord will talk that then the Lord will throw them down. Why did the only be scattered in the name of Chief? The enemy put a flower of darkness, had it together in their marine spirit. The power of darkness will attack to attack my children to carry out the powerless Lord in Jesus. The purpose and plan make it to me respect in my life and my family in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise and fight for the Lord in Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise and scatter the power of darkness, power of Satan. We shall have a new spirit, all of which are wizard, the power of darkness, to show the power of Holy Ghost in Jesus. All they are. In God, Jesus, Jesus name we pray. Amen. Some of you you don't even believe what I'm saying. I pray because maybe they have not yet launched attack against you and your family. Maybe your name is your name has not yet appeared on their board. Hey, that means you are nobody. You are going to pray this prayer once again. Verse 6 in Psalm 27. Now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Run about me. Therefore will I offer the tabernacle of sacrifice of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. O God, lift up my head above my enemies. Now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. I'm going to pray, O God, lift up the head of my family. Lift up the head of my children. Lift up the head of my family. O God, lift up our head above our enemies. Call upon the Lord. The Lord will lift up your head up. Call upon the Lord. The Holy Ghost will lift up your head. Pray and call upon the Lord. Oh God, lift up our head. The Lord will lift up your head. Your head will be lifted up. Your head will be lifted up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray tonight. The Lord will lift up your head. Your head will be lifted up. Jesus, to trample them under them and under my feet, O Lord, in the name of victory, in the name of coming my portion, Lord, in Jesus. Victory, O Lord, the of my soul. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Some people who are preaching to us, we should back them up in prayers. And we are going to pray for them now. The Lord God Almighty, we show them mercy. The Lord God Almighty, we visit them. Somebody said, Oh God, deliver me from the hands of my tormentor. That's what I'm saying. This one said we should pray for him. God will deliver him from, from the hand of his tormentor and speak peace and joy into his mind and into his heart. Let's pray for, for him. And God will deliver him from, from, the, from the hand of his tormentor. Those are those, those are those are the marine spirit, marine agents who their, their, their work is to, to torment people, marine spirits. Let's pray for this individual, the Lord will deliver him from the hand of the tormentor who, who always torments him. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord on his behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say this. He say we should pray. The spirit of Elamites that is against the, the glory, against righteousness, against riches of God that has the Lord provided. We are going to pray that Jesus Christ should silent, should, they should be silent in his family and marriage. Every mm -hmm. spirit of Elamites 
fighting mm -hmm. against this uh, this right tag Rory in their family, in, the, in his marriage, the help financially and progress. Let's pray for this writer. The law will silence every strange voice of elements, every negative voice of elements that is speaking uh, divorce, speaking sickness, speaking poverty, and speaking uh, um, setback. Let's pray only go silent every strange voices in this family. Open your mouth and pray for them. Open your mouth and pray for this writer. He went God to silence the spirit of elements. Let's pray for this person. The Lord is silent there. The Lord is silent there. The, 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 the voices of the enemy will not scatter their marriage, will not scatter them spiritually, financially, maritally. They will make progress. Let's pray God will, God will make this, this writer to make progress. In their marriage, they will make progress. All the battle in their marriage, God will scatter those battles. Every plant, every plant, those who my heavenly father has not planted, God will root it out. Call upon the Lord. Father, in the name of Christ, I command to go fast. I say to the Lord, because you scatter the devil in the name of Christ, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Set her free, set her free, O Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. This writer said, "Pray with me." That is not feeling fine. That God will heal him. Amen. Let's pray for him. God will stretch forth his hand. The Lord will heal him. Open your mouth and pray for him right now. The Lord will stretch forth his hand of healing upon his life. Also, let's also pray for this person in winter. God, uh, every uh, premature death, God will take it away. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I call on our brother Prince Well. Brother Prince Well, are you still there with us? Please, brother, brother Prince, can you please yes, help me? Yes. Round up yes, the prayer, please. Help me round up the prayer for me. Round up the prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Bless you tonight. We magnify your holy name, O Lord, because you're God of battle. Thank you for all the points that we have raised tonight and we have prayed. Lord, we believe in you that, Lord, you will manifest your power in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Every, every agenda of darkness over our lives, over our family, Father, I pray, Lord, you will scatter them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Father, any power that is, that is, that is arise to speak against our upliftment, every manipulation against our manifestation. This night, Father, we call upon you, Lord. Lord, arise, O Lord, and scatter them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we commit your servant that you have used tonight. Father, I pray, God, that you are barricading with your fire, and Amen. your hand of power and glory will rest upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Every, every attack against this prayer, against his life, against his family, let them be scattered in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I put testimony in our mouth, O Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Let's continue to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray for Pastor Ali family once again. About the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to uphold this family. The joy of the Lord will continue to uphold this family. Let's open our mouth. Let's pray for his wife. Let's pray for his children. Let's pray for him himself. That breakthrough. All run breakthrough. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to give to him that is Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That means a faithful steward. This in this program. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, a million fold, Almighty God is going to reward him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in all areas, any area, that by one way or the other, 
that say shortcoming, either financially, either physically, either materially. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, and he's calling upon God every day. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that God is going to wipe his eyes. God is going to wipe his tear away in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that from this moment, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, whatsoever his family, himself, his wife, his children, I mean, his generation, whatever they touch in their life will be prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Pastor Ali will receive mercy. Pastor Ali will receive mercy. His wife will receive mercy. His wife will receive mercy. Their children will receive mercy. Their children will receive mercy. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he has been serving God. Almighty God is him to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not know you will not be the portion of his life in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not know you will not be the portion of his wife in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not know you will not be the portion of his children in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will continue to help his family. They will continue to stand before Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for we have to delegate in, the, in Lagos, right? Now that they are representing one of force in order to fight the battle, let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power that God will be with them as they have gone to that Lagos to go to surrender themselves, volunteer themselves to go and fight on behalf of one of us. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that God will use them mighty flame. God will use their mouth to talk in the name of Jesus Christ. You can see the Christ of love in our in our midst. Let's call upon the name of the love of Christ in our midst. Let's Let's call upon the name of the Lord that we are ever just sleeping. We are ever the big. We are ever mm -hmm. as they are traveling. Almighty Father, just to represent God, to represent to represent Him before, before a situation. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that Almighty God is going to use them to play in the name of Jesus Christ. By the time they, die, they shall come back, they will come back to testimony. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to, to, to continue to use you. God will continue to use me. At the head of a pillar, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God has never failed. We too will we not fail God in the name of Jesus Christ. In any position, Almighty God that has been put in us, either as a head or as a pillar, in this prayer meeting, call upon the name of the Lord that you will not fail God in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God is going to uphold you. The King of Kings is going to uphold you. God will receive mighty blood for this program in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to expand this program in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be the power of the blessing, that uh, will be the part of the blessing, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, what eyes have not seen, what he have not heard, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will do it for us from the east and from the north, from the east, from the west, from the south, people will be looking for us in the name of Jesus Christ, among friends, God will raise our head up, among family, God will raise our head up, among co-workers, God will raise our head up, in our, in our, in our evangelism, we God is going to raise our head up. Among the actors, in all the assembly, God has given to all God, we raise our head, head up. But the power that God of Jesus Christ in any part, that we might have come to fight, to come to bring as a result of our faithfulness, as a result of dedicating our, our life to God, as a result of dedicating our life, our children's life to God, as a result of dedicating our small life to God, any part we are ever going to come, God is going to win the battle to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will be, will be full of testimony. My life will be full of testimony. We are ever your generation, your family. I have not gotten to by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. As the power of coming together this evening, you by the power of your, your, you will get dead. Your family will get dead. That position they call president is not for only one family. That position they call governor is not for only one family. 
that position they call a evangelist is not one for only one, it's not for only one family. That position they call a former pastor is not one, it's not for only one family. You are included. I am included. That by the power in the power of Jesus Christ, all things that is blocking our destiny, all things that is delaying our destiny, all things that let us go hear the promises of the Lord, but we, we are not be partaker of it. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty God is removing them this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. Your testimony, your testimony will be full. My testimony will be full. The testimony of your children will be full. The testimony of your father will be full. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor, Ali, please pray for us. Uh, conclude for us. Uh. Thank you, sir. In, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, the Bible call you a man of war. If God is a God of war, then we are not civilian. We are soldiers. Yes. As a soldier, we come before the Lord. And the Bible says, shall be, play, be taken from the mighty, or the powerful that will be delivered, for thus years the Lord. Even the captain of the mighty shall be taken away, and the play of the terrible shall be delivered, and we contain within that containment with thee. Hey, every personality contending with any family in this, this prayer online, according to your word, I command, Holy Ghost, began to contend with them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every family represented in this prayer conference. Hey, I decree and I declare Amen. the hand of God will lift up every family represented in this conference. The hand of God will lift up everyone's head up above Amen. all our enemies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, any marriage they want to scatter. Hey, Baba. Any plot, any agenda, any incantation, any manipulation, any concussion of the wicked against any family of this altar, by the reason of the anointing, are you custodians of wickedness? I command fire upon your head. Amen. All, all Amen. your covenant, all your calabash, your altar, and everything you have combined together, I command those things to fall upon your head in Jesus' name. Amen. From tonight, Amen. I speak, I speak deliverance upon every home. Amen. From tonight, I speak liberation from everyone. From tonight, Amen. those who have been oppressed, hear me, hear me. As you sleep tonight, you wake up tomorrow. Those oppression will leave your body from tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And those that have high blood pressure, I, I speak to you right now. May everything become normal in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And those that have fear, fear of unknown, sudden fear, fear of tomorrow, fear of this and that, you spirit of fear, the Bible said, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and sad man of power. I command that spirit of fear, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And for those in this prayer platform that are sick, physically, I decree, healing in your body. Amen. Amen. In your health, Amen. I counsel every spirit of calculated dead, premature dead. I counsel and I command the spirit of life to come upon every wall in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you. I soak. I, I, I mark. I mark everybody with my faith with the mark of touch notes because because I. Bear the mark of the Lord Jesus in my body. Henceforth, let no man trouble me. And tonight, I mark everybody with the mark of the blood of Jesus. The enemy will see you. They will be afraid of you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please do not let us forget the um the hour of victory on Saturday. God will be with us in Jesus' name. So people, they do not know that the time has changed. 
please let's continue to do all what we can do for publicity and let's continue to invite more people by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord, we continue to be our strength in Jesus' name. You have Amen. been laboring, just not for only you, for all other families on this platform, by the power and the blood of Jesus, you will not do it in, in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not lose God in the name of Jesus Christ. God mm -hmm. will continue to oppose your family and you continue to stand in the Lord in forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Name of Jesus Christ. Let's share Amen. the grace the grace of the Lord. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And true fellowship of Holy Spirit. Be with forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and shall be us all the days of our life. And we shall Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless Pastor, everybody praise the Lord. I want to announce to you that in your life, in your family, in your business, everything surrounding you, nothing too hard for our God. It breaks every yoke heals every sickness and delivers the oppressed. You want to know, you want to experience that tonight nothing, absolutely nothing. It's impossible to have something great is coming in your life. Miracle. I call miracle upon you in your soul in your spirit, in your body, in the work of your hand, that miracle has now arrived. And you will not live here like you came in Jesus' name. Father, God of heaven, God of earth, creator and maker of everything, your people are here. They know you are the God of creation, the God of redemption, the God of power, the God of all possibilities. That's why they have come. They have come here and all over, everywhere the message goes to, everyone has come because we know in the depth of our heart, nothing, absolutely nothing, difficult for you. Tonight, you'll make it a night of wonders. A night of miracles. A night of power. 
a night to move mountains out of every life tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every heart. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we're talking about faith. We're talking about active faith, mighty faith, powerful faith. We're talking about a mountain moving faith. We're talking about bulldozer faith. Give me a good day. Amen. And everything, whether it's nature, whether it's devil, whether you were born like that, whatever it is, in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, the bulldozer faith, the mountain moving faith, the active faith will activate in your life your own faith. You will overcome and you have your miracle tonight in Jesus' name. Talking about faith, not ordinary faith, active faith, practical faith, miracle working faith, mountain moving faith, active faith. And we're talking about the assurances we have. Assurance that our God, the present God, the perfect God, the omnipotent God, the one that has no impossibility. We have assurances tonight that as we receive the word, believe the word, act on the word, there will be the response from heaven, the miracle from heaven, the yoke-breaking power from heaven, activating and working in your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the acts and the assurances of active faith. The acts, you act it out. You hear it, you see it, you believe it, you accept it, and you live, you act, you pray, you believe, and then you do as if you really believe the acts and the assurances. What we are sure of, what we are sure of, we act out. What we really know that we know, we act out. You're sure because of that, you act, and you act according to what God has said. And there will be a performance, there will be a fulfillment in your life in Jesus' name. In my life, in my life, there will be a performance tonight. There will be a fulfillment tonight. Amen in your life. We're looking at Mark chapter 2. Mark chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith, when Jesus saw their faith, that is the one thing is looking for. Do you believe I can do this? You say, yes, Lord. When Jesus hears that, do you know in the depth of your heart that I can move the mountain tonight? Yes, Lord. Do you believe that this long-standing problem, that tonight is the night, the supernatural power of God will take it away from you? And you say, yes, Lord. The moment you agree, the moment you affirm, the moment you know in your heart and you express your faith, you express your faith in action. You express your faith in a powerful, wonderful, practical way. This is what they did. The people I'm reading about here, they brought a paralytic man. And there was so much a crowd that they couldn't get in to get him to where Jesus was. And so, they, but they believed all they needed to do was to get the man in the presence of Christ. And they knew once that took place, what has been 
a long-standing problem, everything will vanish away. So, they thought, they didn't think the thoughts of unbelief, you see, if we think the thoughts of unbelief, we will have the actions of unbelief. If we think the thoughts of unbelief, we will go on the road of unbelief. And the road of unbelief never leads to salvation, or to miracle, or to power. But they thought, the thoughts of faith, and the thoughts of faith brought the action of faith. They went to the roof of that house. They located Jesus where Christ was. They removed a tile. And they lowered the man and put the man right there in front of Christ. And Jesus said, nobody can go that far in action in faith and not get something from him from heaven when jesus saw their faith he said to the sick of the palsy son thy sins be forgiven thee and some of the people there who didn't have the understanding of who christ was and what Christ could do, and what the Father had ordained and authorized that Christ, his only begotten Son, could do. They began to say within themselves, how can this man, that was their problem, they saw him as man like themselves, religious man, traditional man, a Jewish man. How can this man just a man forgive the sin of anyone when you have a limited understanding a limited understanding of the name and the power and the might of Christ you'll be thinking in your heart how can this happen how can this happen Jesus is not ordinary man he is Emmanuel I said he is Emmanuel God with us. And he says that the Father has the power to give life. He also has the power to give life. He is Christ, the very Son of God. And so in verse 11, in verse 11, he says, I say unto thee, arise. And take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. He didn't even have to touch the man. He didn't have to anoint the man with anything. He didn't have to lift up the man. He didn't have to shake the man because of his power. Irresistible power. Because of his power. Healing power. Because of his authority. He only had to say the word. I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, and what do you see there? What, what am I looking at? When is it going to happen to you tonight? When you will roll, roll your problems away? When you will he destroy the works of the devil in your life tonight? When will he heal that big problem? Answer. I said, when will he heal that brain problem? When will he take that challenge, long-standing challenge, when will he take it away tonight? And immediately he arose and he took up the bed and went forth before them all. In so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. Read that part with me. We never saw it. On this passion, if every time we come before the Lord, what we see is what we have always seen. 
we have not really come to the presence of the Lord. If everything we worship, everything we pray, everything we read the Bible, every time we interact spiritually, if what we see is what we have always seen, we are becoming traditional. We are not expecting that Christ we are mightily present over here to do what we have never, never, never seen. But they said, we never, never saw it in this, on this fashion. When you do what you have never done, when you act the way you have never acted, this is the first time that these four men will come in the presence of Christ. This is the first time they climb up the roof and take away a towel. They had never done that before. When you have faith in the Lord like you never had before, when you believe in the Lord like you have never believed before, when you put all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and you focus on Christ like you have never done before, the result is... You will see a miracle you have never seen. You will see power manifestation you never saw. Well, when you believe the Lord and you say, I never saw this, I never expected this, but now I'm expecting what I never expected. I'm praying for what I never prayed for. I'm receiving what I never received. When you have that heart, when you have that mind, you will see in your heart, in your life today, Amen. something that never crossed your mind. Amen. The power of the Lord will prove to you that nothing is ever too hard for him. We're talking about the acts and the assurances of active faith. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the showing words of power and God's preeminence. God has preeminence over sickness, over evil power, over any challenge we have, over any difficulty we have. God has the preeminence. And when you understand that, and you see, yes, I see problem there, I see sickness there, I see infirmity there, I see weakness, I see whatever, and I see the pressure, but I come to the one that has preeminence over everything, literally, everything on earth, everything underneath the earth, anything in the sky, anything in the bush, I come to the God that has preeminence. Your problem, uh, asking permission, let me go. Let me go. Because problem cannot stand where you exalt the preeminence of the Almighty, of the Creator, of the Redeemer, the assuring world of power and God's preeminence. Number two, the active walk into the performance of God's promises. Actually, when we come to the Lord, we literally walk into the performance, walk of faith. The work of assurance, knowing that this is what he has said. And you must fulfill it and by your confession, by your thoughts, by everything that you think about. And by the way you act, the way you position yourself, you literally walk into the performance of miracle. Tonight, I say tonight, you walk into the performance of the miracle. Number three is the activated wonder. Activated wonders. Wonder is there all the time. In the presence of God, wonder is there all the time. And, but it's like a dog is sleeping. 
everything is quiet, no backing, nothing at all until you activate and you wake up that dog. But when people say, let the sleeping dog lie, don't activate anything, don't do anything, don't command anything. Let things go on the way they have always gone. Then miracles will not be activated. Wonders will not be activated. But when you come and the faith in you that was dormant, that was sleeping, that was quiet, that faith activated, miracle must happen. And in the presence of God, as we come, we have activated wonders through the prayer. We pray in God's presence. Tonight is your night. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will turn everything around that had been dormant in your life in Jesus. Look at number one. Look at number one there. Number one. The assuring words of power and God's preeminence. Assuring words of power. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. When, when the word of the king is, tell me, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? God is the king of kings. Christ is the king of kings. And when he speaks the word of forgiveness into your life, nobody can ask him, what doest thou? When he speaks the word of healing, the word of deliverance into your life, when he speaks the word to move your mountain, no matter how long it's been there, nobody, no devil, no demon, no man can say, what doest thou? What does that mean? He has final authority. Over your problem, he has final authority. Over your sickness, he has final authority. Over your predicament, he has final authority. Because where the king is, there is power. You see here tonight, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And because he's here, he is here as king. He is here as healer. He is here as redeemer. He is here as the mountain mover. And because he's here, he speaks. And where the word of the king is, there must be power manifestation in your life. In Jeremiah chapter 32, Jeremiah chapter 32. We're reading from verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth. If you could think about it, about that for some time, and then compare his power to the power that can heal you, the heavens and the earth. The stars, the sun, the moon, and all the planets in their different orbits. And they make them so orderly that they don't collide. And there is, there's no collision that will kind of explode anything here on earth. And he created the whole earth. And he created the seas, the ocean, everything in the proper uh, proportion. Think about that. And he creates all the, every blade of grass. And as you look at the blade of grass under a microscope, you see a wonderful, powerful symmetry and design. And this is the God that created, that made the heaven and the earth by his great power. When you think of that, then you understand. If he can do that, and he has done that, in my life, there's nothing too hard for him. In your life, there's nothing too hard for him. By the way, do you remember how he created the heavens and the earth? 
He spoke one sentence. Let there be light. Tell me. There was light. And all the creation of God with his word. He didn't have to go there for hundreds and thousands and millions of years trying to uh, evolve evolution. Trying to do this and that. He spoke. It was done. And your life tonight, he will speak. He will use the person you see in front of you as his microphone. But he seems talking to you. He seems speaking to you. And he speaks a word, your sins are forgiven. He speaks a word, your, your healing is guaranteed. I have it tonight. It says, and there is nothing to hatch for thee. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Any flesh sitting down, standing there today? I said any flesh sitting or standing there today? Where are they? Is your God? Is your creator? Is your healer? Is your deliverer? The God of all flesh. Is there anything to hurt for me? And since you have said no, you'll find tonight nothing, no problem that you brought is ever going to be hard for him in Jesus' name. Look at um, point number two here. Point number two is the active walk into the performance of God's promises. When God makes a promise, he wants to fulfill the promise. He has a mind that he's going to fulfill the promise. Has he made any promise of salvation? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. That promise will be fulfilled for you. Amen. By his stripes, I am healed. You didn't say that properly. By his stripes, I am healed. Will you be healed tonight? If that thing is inside, liver, kidney problem, if that thing is inside, fibroid and cancer, if that thing is inside, and you say, I feel it this way, at the mention of the name of Jesus tonight, all your pain, all your sickness, everything gone in Jesus' name. We activate the work of faith by what we say with our mouth. We activate faith by the way we think in our heart. And we don't exaggerate the problem, lift up the problem, make the problem so big and our God so small. No, we begin to think about the power of God about the possibilities in God, about the goodness of God, about the promise of God, and about the fact that our problem, so to say, they're so tiny, like a little fly, that even you can kill that fly and throw it away. And all those flies of demonic oppression, and the flies of sickness, the flies of disease, they are healed tonight. You will feel it in your body. The healing, the deliverance. And you say, I've been hearing of miracles. I got one. I've been hearing of that people testifying, I got mine. Confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. And so he tells us in Jeremiah 
chapter 1, reading from verse 9. Jeremiah, chapter 1, reading from verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. He'll touch your mouth. I said, he'll touch your mouth. When he touches our mouths, the things we used to say, we don't say them anymore. When he touches our mouth, all the cannot, cannot in our lives, everything will evaporate away. I cannot because I'm a little child, that one will vanish away. I cannot because I am sick, that one will vanish away. I can't do that because I am lame, that one will vanish away. And the Lord then, the Lord put his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. I have put my words in thy mouth. What does that mean? I knew the word, but it wasn't his mouth. He learned the word, it wasn't in his mouth. He heard the word, but it wasn't in his mouth. When he had the word, what he was speaking out was different from the word. But now the Lord said, I have put my word in your mouth. The meaning is that word is now there. If you say it, it will be done. It's no more in the prophet's mouth, in the preacher's mouth, only in God's mouth is now in your mouth. Are you determined? By pronouncing, by repeating the word in your mouth, I am healed. Heaven will confirm it. I am delivered. Heaven will confirm it. Now, you speak the word in your mouth, in your mouth, in your mouth. And you don't say, I'm dying. Be careful. You are not dying. You are living. Uncle died at this age, cousin died at this age, mama died at this age. I've got to the stage. I am going. No, that's not the word you put in your mouth. Speak the word that God has put in your mouth and revival will come to every part of your being in Jesus' name. Behold, I I put my words, not their words, my words. I have put my word, not your family's word, the doctor's word, the nurse's word, the medical exam word. You have a word higher than anybody is telling you you will live. You will be revived. And all those sicknesses and crawling things, they are off your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, see, I have this day set thee over the nations. I have, tell me the next word, this day. You know our problem? We come to the revival. We come to the night of supernatural wonder. And he puts a word in our heart that we didn't have before we came. He puts a word in our mouth that we didn't have before we came. And he puts an authority, an anointing upon us that we didn't have before we came. But... The unfortunate thing is the people still go on saying what they were saying. When the Lord had not touched them, they go back to the past 
and the things they used to say, and the things they used to do, and the thoughts they used to think, they're still thinking the same thought. No, no, that's, that's not right. When he said, now, this day, I'm doing something to you that you didn't have before, then you come up to that level. And you act and you stay the same at the level you ought to say, See, I have this day sent thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out. To root out. Anything that stands in your way, to root out. Anything that wants to say, Who do you think you are? Well, he says, I am a new man. I have a new word in my mouth that was not there before. I have a new position, a new power. Who are you? I'm a man now, I'm talking for you. I'm a woman now, I'm talking for you of authority. That's all your amen. And so when you realize this is what I have done for you, this day, you go out, you will root out. You will pull down. You will destroy every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your body, in your heart, in your business, in your profession, in your education. Everything the Heavenly Father has not planted, you'll not be calling on other people. Now the authority is with you. Yeah. Root it out. Pull it down. And destroy that thing. And it is destroyed in Jesus' name. Yeah. And then to throw down. You see, all those things, once you say this will not continue in my life. I wrote it out. <laughs> you know, people are waiting there. Uh, people will not allow me to, you know, make progress. And they always put that stumbling block in my way. Why don't you wrote it out? Tonight, why don't you pull it down? Tonight, why don't you throw it down? Your life will be according to the plan of heaven. It will not be according to what somebody, you know, will not allow him to go beyond this point in education. Who is that? When we have the performance of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and the preeminent God has made us and he has said, this is where I am taking you. Anybody between you and that high point in your life, rooted out tonight. Pulled down tonight. Destroyed tonight. The enemy will not determine the level you stop. God and you. God in you, you in Christ. Already, you have the power, destroy them. And throw it down. And to build, you will build your life. You will build your family. You will build the work of your hand. I'm looking at you there, you will succeed. I said, you will succeed. Yeah. Believe the word. Believe your own utterance. And believe what you say. And believe what you sing. You're quiet tonight. God bless you. Yeah. As you sang, what a mighty God we serve. And you sang that nothing, absolutely nothing, is too hard for him. You blessed the church. Let those same words bless you. So that 
you are not just lifting up other people you yourself by the song of your mouth by the word of your mouth you are lifted up in Jesus name and so you have that word that says he will make you build and make your plant. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Every time you read the Bible, your quiet time, what seest thou? about yourself, about the world. Every time you come to the night of supernatural wonders, what seest thou? What do you see now? Do you see miracle coming your way? Do you see power in your life? Do you see authority that even the devil cannot contradict? Every time, every time, every time the question comes, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod and an almond tree. I see a rod of an almond tree. Your, your life will not remain a dry rod. It shall become a fruit-bearing rod and branch in Jesus' name. Your wife will not remain a dry rod. She will be a fruit-bearing wife in Jesus' name. Your son, your daughter, will not be a dry rod. Will not stop at the level of education where you stopped. No matter how far you went, how high you went, that your son will go beyond you. That your daughter will go beyond you. And nobody now, nobody now that you are spending your time with will be a dry rod. They'll be fruit bearing. I said they'll be fruit bearing. Look at verse 12, in verse 12, And then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well. When I see a miracle coming my way, God says to me, Thou hast seen well. When I see the dry rod of the past becoming fruit-bearing rod, and he asked me, what do you see? And I say, I see fruitfulness. He said, you have seen well. Anybody see well there tonight? And it says, for I will hasten my word to perform it. God well, his chin, his word to be performed in your life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. The word of salvation, he'll perform. The word of healing, he'll perform. The word of wonders, he will perform in your life, in Jesus' name. Performance. Performance. Where? Will that performance be tonight? Really, 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 seriously, no, seriously. Where will the word be performed tonight? Confirmed in Jesus' name. We're looking at number three here. Number three, we're looking at the activated wonders through prayers in God's presence. We are in God's presence and the Lord will activate wonders in every life tonight in Jesus name every promise that have been lying dormant there the Lord will wake up that promise into your life tonight in Jesus name everything he has injected into your life the goodness of God 
the power of God, the great possibilities we have in God that have been there. And you know, it is sleeping somewhere there in your mind. And if it can only wake up, everything will become all right tonight in your life. Steady, steadfast salvation in your life. Yeah. Dynamic healing. Demonstrated healing. Yeah. Wonders of deliverance activated in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. In the presence of God, always there are wonders. The ocean of wonders never dry up. In the presence of God, the great power for wonders never dries up in the presence of God. Uh, you know, it's, um, you know, people that don't understand God, they say the God of wonders, what he used to do, the God of power, what he